Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Tech Vibes, this time unboxing the iPod Touch 6th generation. Starting off as we do looking at the box, we've got a pic, it's not even a picture, it is the actual iPod on the top with a kind of fake sticker screen. Checking the side, we've got a nice iPod Touch slogan. On the bottom, we've just got a little bit about it, so an iPod Touch 16GB in space grey, designed by Apple in California. Checking the other sides, once again, saying iPod Touch. Checking the rear now, it says it's the 16GB model, as we know. It said it includes the iPod Touch, EarPods, Lightning to USB cable, supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Not all features are available in all areas. It may require an um, Apple ID, internet access, and it also says battery life and charge cycles may vary depending on use and settings. A battery may eventually need replacement. It's quite funny how they actually put that on the actual box, because that's... Usually if you read something that says it will eventually need a battery, then that's not really what you want to look for. But this kind of RRP is for £179 on the market at the moment. So it's still quite an expensive iPod Touch if you put it like that. If you look at the specs between the 5th gen and the 6th gen, which we'll speak about, there really isn't much in it. So let's get out of the box and have a better look. Right, time to show you that cool, cool function here. This little green arrow tab, all you do, if I'm right in thinking... I'm right. Oh. oh, oh, well, there we go. See, it's, it was always going to work. You, you just knew that was always going to work. I'm going to have to peel it off now. Right, here we go. And all this does is lock the top of the case. That's it. I love this new unboxing feature. I've got to admit that. So, checking out the first and foremost will be the oh, 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 mess. We don't do mess in Tech Vibe Studios. But. So checking out the iPod itself, we've got it in the, a nice little cradle. I like how they improve, include, not improve, include a, ca um, a nice little uh, cable. Cable? Oh dear, cradle. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So starting off, we shall... Oh dear. Oh, I like this. I, I certainly know how an Apple case works, don't, don't I? Look at that. Ooh, oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see they've actually um, stuck it down here as well. So that's, help that's what's helpful. And I'm going to guess. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. So now that I've got this off, they kind of stick it on so it doesn't fall out. So that's kind of a good idea. I like that. So what we'll do is we'll put that to a side for the moment. We'll check what's, what's left in the box. So it says designed by Apple in California. We open it up. We've got a nice instruction manual included with a little separator there. I don't know if you see that. A nice little separator. With, do you get are my favourite? Oh, you get your favourite Apple stickers. Oh, yeah. yeah. The excitement is all over me right now. Now, you get your nice new charger. As we spoke about in previous videos, they're including this new layer of chargers now. Instead of it kind of being in a rectangle, it's now in a circle. So, it's, it's going to come in nice and handy. Brand new lightning adapter. You can't beat that. And then check in. I'm going to guess put this box away for right now. You get the Apple EarPod headphones. And if I'm right, these will be the 3.5 millimeter ones. And that's only because I actually own an iPhone 7 at the moment and kind of um, struggle with the old 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as I'm sure a few of you will be aware. Now, let's take a closer look at the iPod. Now that it's just the iPod now, I can tell you a few specifications about it. It's got a 4 inch 640 by 1136 pixel screen. Should have a retina display, IPS. It's got an 8 megapixel rear camera with a 1.2 megapixel front FaceTime camera. It's got the Apple A8 processor, which is a dual core 1400 megahertz processor. It was released in 2015, in July 15th, if you're really worrying about that. It's got one gigabyte of RAM with a 1043 milliamp battery. So for an iPod, that's quite a big battery to keep it going. And the memory of this one will be 16 gigabytes. So without further ado, let's just have a gander at the bottom. As you can see, we've got our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, our lightning adapter, and our stereo speaker. On the left side, we've got our volume rocker up and down. On the top, just your lock button. And if we spin it around, it's just nice and free. Moving on to the rear now, you've got your eight megapixel camera with the built-in flash and microphone. You've then got um, this if you go for the uh, 4G model, and you've got the usual Apple iPod logo as well. So if we peel it off, oh dear, right. And as you can see, it's the device itself. So let's power it on and see how it sets up. 
Right, pressing the power button now. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we've got the usual Apple logo. Let's see what's booting up. Now I have I have um, noted that the difference between these tablets, um, well not tablets, um, iPod Touches. The iPod Touch 6th generation has an A8 processor, 64-bit dual core, clocking 1.1 gigahertz per core. The Apple iPod Touch 5th generation is a little bit slower with Apple's A5 processor, which was a 32-bit, 800 megahertz. Now, this is backed up with a 512 megabyte of RAM. With this model, they've boosted up to a gigabyte, so that can't be bad. Now, it, the, these things do not have Touch ID, they have the same screen, they weigh the same, they're the same weight. It's literally just the processor that they've improved. The battery on this is 1043 milliamp. The one on the iPod 5th iPod gen is 1030 milliamp. So you're not going to notice that difference. The only other thing is the camera on this is 8 megapixel, whilst the 5th gen is 5 megapixel on the rear. But other than that, it's literally only the speed that you're, you'd be noticing if you were using an iPod all the time. But usually people only use iPods for, let's say, your kind of music or apps and things like that. I'll be using this for kind of music and Spotify and using it in the car rather than wasting battery on my, my phone all the time. That's the only thing. So I'll just give all Tech Vibes customers my Wi-Fi password because fuck, I've got nothing to hide. We'll connect straight away. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPod. There we go. I have had an iPod before, so hopefully it'll boot from the backup location services. Yes, why not? We'll click that, create a passcode. No, thank you. Not at the moment, anyway. Uh, continue. A restore from iCloud backup. There we go. Right. I'll fill in this information and I'll get back to you. Right, that's it now booted up. It's the first thing that came to allow wallet to access. Yeah, but I don't have anything saved. So as I said, I have booted this from my previous um, iPods. It's probably going to sync all the photos. Yes, it has, but ugh, we don't need to worry about that. It's got a quite a nice sharp display. Uh, is the brightness up at full? Yeah, it is. So that's always what we like to hear. It's always up at full. What we'll do is we'll just check some web browser. We'll go into our usual, our favourite web browser, as I'm sure if you've watched previous videos by myself. Ass assassinage defiant um let's do a harry potter one at least we'll, we'll, we'll you know gonna be happy harry potter fans warned after near misses on glenfinnan viaduct wow harry potter fans are risking death anyway looking for it. pinches and zooms quite fine loads really quick plays so let's go up and down 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 yeah i quite like that we'll go on spotify unless we need to log in which we probably might have to yeah, we'll just we'll just press a magic button, I think. Unless we need to log into that as well. Mm, I don't know, do we? Will we have to? Yeah, looking like we'll have to. It's always good when you've got everything sorted. Right. Three, two, one. And voila. There we go. So let's test our first. Let's use the UK's number one at the moment. Very stereo. If you could hear it, it's very stereo. But that's probably just because on all their newer models, they've been, they've since they've raised the 3.5 millimeter jack, they've basically been replacing. They've been using two speakers at each side, one being left, one being right, so you get stereo output. This is probably just two speakers in one, so probably why. But on an iPod, you're probably going to be listening to music. Now we've got our usual benchmark test to do as we do on all of our new gadgets nowadays to see how they perform against their um, difference. I'd say iPod Touch 6th, let's start testing. There we go. There we go, right. Oh, if it's doing it this way, okay. And there we go. It has passed at a mad score of 65,106. Beating down the screen, managed to get the 3D of 17,000. The UX, which is the like data processing kind of thing, 
is 20,000, the CPU runs at 19,000 and the RAM is 7,372. Now I can actually feel on this table how hot this has got during that process. So that's the score, so that's a really good score considering it's out of um, 100,000. So that shows you that iPod, as much as you might think, oh, but we can only use them for such, kind of such like, it is an actual really good purchase because it saves your battery power on your phone. And I know the battery power on this is low. Oh, and there's an update to do 10.3.2, so I will have to do that. Other than that, I think, if we just have a look here, as you can see, 12.69 gigabyte was available. Your Wi-Fi, yeah. So, I must agree that it's a very good iPod for the money. Obviously, £179 is quite a lot of money to stock up on. But it's a fast kind of iPod, either for your children, for you, for listening to music on the way to work, and you don't want to use the battery power on your own phone. The iPod 6th generation is the way to go. Thank you very much for watching the unboxing this afternoon, or this evening, or this morning, whatever you're listening from. Please subscribe and comment, and I shall get back to whatever questions you may have. Thank you for listening.